a few words about Bill Maher. The famous stand-up comedian and host of HBO's Real Time is not perfect, but as someone somewhere said, no one is. So these are a few problems I have with Bill Maher. Bill started up as a stand-up comedian and actor. He began appearing at Johnny Carson's and Letterman's shows in 1982. With his comedy routine in those shows, he later gone on to appear in several 80s TV shows as a actor. He was, and still is, a funny guy, and does his job as a comedian really good, even to this day. When he got his first talk show, Politically Incorrect, that ran from 1993 to 1997, he had evolved into a person that can understand and talk about politics in an advanced level. The show was funny and interesting and open, open to ideas and opinions of all sides. Granted, Bill had a, his point of view and in some cases pushed it on his guests. But still there was a line of controversy and opinions that were not in the mainstream media at all. This was proven when he got fired for saying this. On Politically Incorrect, the show that once followed this one, he made this infamous comment less than a week after 9-11. We have been the cowards lobbing cruise missiles from 2,000 miles away. Absolutely. That's cowardly. That, that is a Staying in the airplane yes. when it hits the building. That is Say what you want about it, not you cowards. Know. And yes, it was maybe a bad timing. And after the 9-11 attacks, when American people were losing their minds, his actions could be interpreted as anti-American or evil or something else. But in all fairness, he spoke his mind and he wasn't afraid of the reactions of people who didn't really understand to the fullest extent what he meant. And his words then were, in my opinion, the truth. He was influenced by the legendary comedian George Carlin. And in those days you could see a little bit of George in Bill as far as the ability to speak and not be afraid of negative feedback. Now, these problems I have with Bill today are, in my mind, legitimate criticism of Bill Maher, and those are coming from me, his fan and someone who finds him funny, entertaining, and being reasonable. Today we see Bill turn about 85 of his stand-up gigs into a day-to-day -day political humor, which is funny, but gets to repeat over and over again, and gets kind of dumb. He is still funny, but if you really listen closely, you will see the same stuff over and over again. His comedy routine has changed, and so did his political spectrum. His views on same-sex marriage, cannabis legalization, global warming and religion are a refreshment and a reminder that not everyone in the American political scene is a fucking retard, though most are, especially on the right. My mind slightly changed with Bill Maher when he said this on the last episode of Real Time before Obama won. And finally, new rules, stop telling me you can't wait for this election to be over. Oh, admit it, you junkie, you love it. American elections are glorified lying contest and an insult to our intelligence. What I didn't understand is how can he be telling these truthful words after years and years of him supporting Obama to the fullest and not realizing that Obama is just another figure in line of dull, stupid, warmongering, criminal, hypocrite, asshole presidents that America loves and adores. The only reason I think you and Bill can have to support Obama is that at least he is not as insane as his opponents. What a treat. But even that support should be kept to a minimal extent, and he should not be seen as a messiah. Obama was a big disappointment in 2008 elections, and he will be a disappointment when his term ends in 2016. He continued Bush's policies on surveillance, and even expanded the program, violating the Fourth Amendment. He continued his failed war on drugs, and his domestic and foreign policies stayed mostly the same as his lunatic predecessors. Now, granted, Bill Maher does criticize Obama from time to time, 
But I honestly believe that if Americans had a Republican president, the criticism would be intensified a million times. His relationship with Obama and his policies are like a bad mother who occasionally yells at her spoiled children. She never says anything that can really hurt the child's feelings or make him think of his actions, even if that means letting him do whatever the hell he wants. As for Bill, I think that he is funny, intelligent, and has uh, modern views on so many topics and problems, but as long as he sees only two options on the elections and continues to favor one side over another, in this case Obama and the Democrats, even if that means crushing his own ideals and thoughts, not believing in his own words, and not realizing that there are no sides when interest is on the table, he in my mind will be just another bland TV host that is not really free and that says things that are true but immediately crushes them with a biased point of view when it comes to electing the so-called leaders.